Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I have my cup of room temperature water here. This is filtered water and you can also use bottled water. I'm using a glass cup for all of my water marbling because um, it's nice and convenient and you can clean it off afterwards. So let's get started with our bullseye. I'm using black and blue. And when this happens, there, that is because you have some dry polish on the surface. Just go ahead and run it through with your toothpick to get rid of that. There's the blue. I will go ahead and list the colors that I'm using in the description box below. So just continue on building the bullseye. Now I will take my toothpick and draw a spider web design and I have done a lot of those spider webs uh, in my previous videos so if you want to go ahead and check those out and see exactly how you do it you can check those ones out and this uh, design is actually inspired by my other design the double spider web so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in one more drop of the black and another drop of the blue and right now it's just sitting there it's not spreading it's okay because the swiper the spider web design um as you're doing it it will help polish spread out so in between the lines as you can see in the center there it's actually spreading out And it's actually creating more details for the water marble. And we are actually not done with this design. I'm going to go ahead and drop in one more drop of the black and one more drop of the blue to create our center design okay now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it slightly out not completely out and the outside nail polishes are pretty much all dry so we don't want to uh, touch the outside at this point so I am just basically drawing a little eight pointed star at this point like so and we want to bring this inside to create more details so at this point I'm just pretty much working in the center because, like I said, the outside nail polishes, they are pretty much dry. So you just want to go in between and pull in. You can actually pull in at a curved angle, so it will make the flower look like look even more intricate and beautiful we want to give a slight dip in the center and that is our design so I'm gonna go ahead and take my fake nail and of course you can pick whatever um, place you like to dip the nail I'm gonna pick half of the flower and some of the spider web design dip down and clean up uh, when you actually pick a place to dip you don't have to rush because even when the polish is dry, it's still okay to pick up your design. And here is the design. As you can see, we have some of a little bit of the spider web design and we have the little half little flower in the center. So this has a lot of details and I hope you like this design and I will see you later. Bye.